morning students i am anisha i am here to take the max class so first of all i welcome you to the class in ancient times the invention which changed the human life is the invention of wheels and shape is circular so circular shape is much more important than other geometrical shapes in our life right so let us discuss the some theories that behind the circles and first of all i welcome you to the module 10 circles first we have to recall some basic details that you have already studied in the earlier classes total angle around a point is 360 degree total angle along a line is 180 degree the angle 90 degree is called the right angle the triangle with one angle 90 degree is called the right angle triangle now let us move to the famous pythagorean principle this principle is applied only for the right angle triangles. The side opposite to a right angle triangle is called the hypotenuse. The remaining adjacent sides are called the base and altitude. Look at the figure. There is a right angle triangle named it as triangle ABC. The side opposite to the right angle is BC and it is named as hypotenuse. The remaining sides AC is named as altitude and BC is named as base. Then according to the Pythagorean principle, hypotenuse square is equal to altitude square plus base square. According to given triangle, BC square is equal to AC square plus AB square. Now let us discuss some more basic information about the circles. Radius is the line joining the center and any point to the circular boundary. Here, OP is the radius. A line joining two points of a circular boundary and passing through the center of a circle is called a diameter. Here, XY is the diameter. Code is the line joining any two points of a circular boundary. Here, AB is a code. Largest code of a circle is the diameter. A line passed through only one point of a circle is called the tangent. Here Mn is the tangent. Any line which do not intersect the circle or a line and circle has no common point with respect to the circle is called the non-intersecting line. Here AB is an example for this. The line passing through any points of a circle or a line and a circle have no common points such lines are known as a secants. Here PQ is a line passing through the circle with the common points are M and N. Now let us move to the tangent to a circle. A tangent to a circle is a line that intersects the circle at only one point. There is only one tangent at a point of the circle. The tangent to a circle is a special case of secant when two endpoints of a, its corresponding coincides. The common point of a tangent and the circle is called the point of contact. There is no more than two tangents parallel to given secant. Let us move to the theorem 1. Tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact. It is explained as shown below. Consider the circle below. AB is the tangent passing through the circle with the point of contact P. Then O is the center of the circle and OP is the radius meeting at the tangent. Now the angle OPB is 90 degree then we can conclude that OP is normal to AB. So let us explain this theorem with an example. A circle has a radius 3 cm and origin is at O. If AB is the tangent with the point of contact, the circle is A and length is 4 cm. Find the length of OB. From the given data, we could understand that Radius is OA is equal to 3 cm, tangent AB is equal to 4 cm. Let us draw it. Here 
here o a is the radius then then it is 3 cm then ab is the tangent it is 4 cm then by the pythagoras principle applying it on the triangle oab then ob square is equal to ab square plus oa square because here right angle triangle is the triangle oab and the side opposite to the right angle triangle is ob that's why we choose it as a hypotenuse so we got this ob square is equal to ab square plus oa square then substituting the ab and oa values then we get ob square is equal to 25 so ob is equal to root 25 that is equal to 5 so i hope that you could understood this class well so i'm going to wind up this class thank you and have a nice day